Right now we can move the ball, but at some point it goes out of the camera. To prevent that, in most of the games, camera follows player. So as I move the ball, camera should also come with me. There are ways of doing this. I want to start with the easiest one. The easiest way of sticking camera and the player is to make camera child of the ball. You can do this by moving the camera in the hierarchy inside of the sphere here. Now that it is child of the sphere, as we move the ball, the camera also comes with it. What's happening here is camera inherits all of the transform chains from the ball. So it's also receiving the rotation chains. Look at the game tab. When I rotate the ball, the game perspective also rotates. This can be a problem. Let me play the game and you will see better. You see, since we are rolling the ball, the camera also rotates. So we don't want that unless we are building a fantastic interesting game. If the player was anything except ball, this approach would work. If the player was a character that is running, we would just follow it because there would be no rotation. But for this game we cannot use this way, right? Instead, we're gonna solve this in C sharp file by writing code. And we will basically assign the camera's position to the ball's position while keeping the rotation stable. Alright, if you are ready, let's do that in the next video.